it guys your host Raju and welcome to another episode of Side Hustle Garage in today's video we have you with us Mr. Reno and Lika Lika just check us out Today's video, Reynos Kopies, <laughs> Skiopers. How's it, Buta? Lekker man and self and Joma. Buta, this no, this no, really a year for us. This is a year. We have seen it already on Facebook and on social media. Yeah. Uh, this is your blood, sweat, and tears. Everything put poured into this bucket over here. Twenty-four years. Joma, can you talk a little bit about the year for us? Where the bucket from and from? So my opa was a teacher and he was the first one to open the bucket for us. He had not bought it and yeah, so I came to Erf. The day we were teacher is in seven years. So in every year is it but an upgrade. He's only last fifteen years old green with the green color. Yeah. And it basically the last three years that I went actually a bit far yeah. um, with the suspension and everything. That is all to thank on 13 works. You can also Facebook and photo work. Check. Shout out to 13 um, works. Yes, 13 works. Yeah. Um, I buy from my fabrication. I make all the handmade the seats, the dash. I do yeah. all this uh, handmade. Um, I have made the canards up. I have um, made the whole exhaust system. I buy um, a lot of work for me to do. Yeah, and then um, uh, Fat Boy Fat works. I have made the I have a ladder basis for um, for work up to do the copy baki. Yeah. And that's all. That made the baki nice now to come. So um, yeah. Jo ma, what is not custom copy baki? Not what is not factory besides the top. The deer. Basis, yeah. This this made the deer and the steering column. Ah, that's not all. Nice, that nice and front suspension. Chassis, I was next to snap up the chassis. The front suspension. I had just a bit of an upgrade, I had a Mercedes 280 rear coil springs for me I had just two anti-roll bars Rika, what are the suspensions? E30 discs for and after With the matching caliper? Nissan Sentra caliper for and Opel Astra caliper after Hectic And the strut, and the strut itself? Do you see it? Do you want to call the five-link suspension or what do you call it again? Is it the McPherson? Mc McPherson, McPherson Strat. Yes, it's the upper and lower control arm. Ah, hectic. Okay, before we get to the engine, before yes. we get to the engine, let's do some more pertaining to the body. Under the floor is still... All is stuck. Everything is still stuck. You guys can see this Morse exhaust coming through here. Yeah. Interesting setup. But tell us a bit more, it's so funny. Okay. So I got a little intercooler, I got a charge cooler. Mm. Um, so basis, I can have a box, you can draw ice off. Ice and gooi water hardloop. Yeah. So I hardloop basis. I pump them with a solar panel pump. I pump it for us. And you supply the toxic? No, 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 no. I pump it to five meter or eight meter far, half half the water stream. My God. And then hardloop will come here. Here is the outside. Here for the automatic intercooler. But FS Utility for me to make it to make a charge cooler to make. Shout out to FS Utility, the same dudes. Um, Freak and Vickers, yes. Let us uh, intake to make, so uh, yes, they're featuring again. They're featuring yeah. again. Freak's come on, eh? Yes. Uh, I buy it for my welding work. And all nee? I do not like buy it. I do not buy it. Yes, I do not like buy it. Nice. Yeah. Okay, for us, you bring in the cooler. That's all clear. Okay, so a basis, a pump of water here, a charge cooler. Hier is een BMW 525 aircon condenser. Dus ik pomp je water net weer hier om om het af te koelen weer terug in die box te gaan. En aan de fuel cell. En hier die koele kiezen. Daar is twee oil coolers voor die engine. Yes, like it. En hij komt ook van voor of achter het toch? Ja, dus die pijp van jou, zo ik het van van die engine af weer terug weer terug naar die kant toe. Ja, dat is altijd een missie. En dan die en die en dan die olie pomp wat je hard loopt. Yes, stand up. Stock stand up, yeah, yeah, stock stand up oil pump. So here we go, I don't know if I have a sandwich plate, and that will go after the oil cooler. Yeah, I can put the oil cooler in the sample, and I pump it down there. So I don't have to put the oil cooler before and I put it down there. And obviously the quantity of oil is also going to be done. Yeah, I have a lot of 4.5 liters of the train, but my number is 9. 
and uh, the fabrication, okay, besides the fabricating part, have you all self fit? As you know, so yeah, just behalve now for D, you have all of all of self fit. Yeah, 13 works with the tank gebouw, uh. with the charge box gebouw. Uh, my Gerard and his pa, what he binnen is, his um, pa is by my altar, and he for me, here is half CV joint. <laughs> CV boot robbers, yeah, so. He had with the first hill climb with a lot of a lot of help. We had two or three in the morning, four hours in the morning, and then he went to sleep for seven days there, day and night. But I mean, this is... This but he is in two months. No? Yeah. And but I mean, this is your passion, this is your passion, you feel it here, that's how it works. No, glad, yeah, as I say, it is what I keep with me in the garage. And in the coil was he after? That had I got from one of my friends by Niels for Mark. He had it for me given and he had for me actually the intercooler on. Uh, it looks like a golf, golf socks, the, the, the rear coil of us. I will have a similar set up after that. I don't know if it's a stock car. Yeah. Mm. The viewers perhaps they can verify which coil of us these are. Yeah, I don't have any clue what it is. Okay, it, it's obviously custom made here. You can see there was a... a uh, actually a, tough. A, a, I was welded on there. M75 LS. M75 and this is what they call the... I have modified so I fit stärker. Ah. Modified in which way? No, I have... They all work different than your other. I have a cap and a cone, which is amper like a synchro. Ah. So more like four springs. It's not your old one setups. So more talk you have to do. Yeah. Like a spring, yeah. So I have a machine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, you have to do the prop shop and modify it. Ah, yeah. Prop shop, yeah. I have to... Uh, uh, RX7 Turbo Gearbox in the good. RX7 Gearbox. What size is this exhaust? 76. 76 mil. Why am I wrong? And it's all as you can see here. Can I make this one? Yes, I can come on. You have to make it too much. It's unlucky. I've got some trouble. What's the price? 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 This sort of hint like a bone, eh? It was a Japanese man, eh? It was in the four. It was in the bone in South Africa. Hydraulic hand. What was in the bone? Lele. Lele, what the f is that? Yeah, yeah. Do you have a Johannesburg side? Yeah, Johannesburg side. Johannesburg side. What is it? What is it? What is it? Oh, we get to that. So the interior, who made your seats for you right now? 13 works, Andre 13 works, he made the interior. Shout out to Yes, dash, mm. seats, floor plates, the tunnel, and he mounted that um, pedal box for me. Pedal box? So, all, everything aluminium. Yeah, this is aluminium, yeah. Roll okay, cages, is aluminium or steel? Yeah, 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 right, steel. Is it mild steel? Yeah. Oh no, mild steel. Any pedals? What is there? What is this? Is, uh, that is the uh, adjuster for before and after, so the brake uh, equalizer for your pedals and the oh. uh, racing box. Hectic! And, and, so you, and you can yeah, adjust your, 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 your ratio? Yes, front okay. and rear, yeah, yeah. So you can adjust your, your, your brakes basically yes. from 70, 30 to yes, yes, 80, yes. 20? Yeah, it's or? actually a guy that I know, Kobe Swanepoel, uh, oh. Swantec. Oh. Um, he's in Booster, he's making those, he makes floor mounts and top mounts and that's oh. awesome. Man. Awesome. And your this over here, the, I see there's um like the what are they called? Like the rally cars have each. It's so like, then they are. yeah, yeah, yeah hydraulic it's two one, one, one clutch. Okay. So there you guys can see it. And then we'll set on the nose for the RX7. And this is, oh, this is a no, you get this. This is a cover here for the gearbox. So you don't need to take the engine out in order to take the gearbox out. Just check here. Uh, this is, uh, yeah, we just want to show them this actual lid so you can remove this cover. Okay, that's cool. I wish engineers can think like this for mechanics. Convenience sake. <laughs> Management system, you're running Microtech. Microtech, What's your tuner? Uh, Jock. Jock. Uh, EPR development of dispatch, yeah. So, we have a map. It's not a map. It's not a map. It's not a map. It's not a map. So the, the kilos that's on the engine now, or about, about 150, 160 on train. Uh, where yeah. did you get this awesome Takata's? Uh, Java, my eyes Julian Takata. No, I see that, what's his name? <laughs> yeah, I guys, here's at the hydraulic handbrakes we've been advertising. You guys can see it how it actually works. It works with hydraulic fluid, or your brake fluid rather. So, uh, yeah, but it's it needs not. a drift one, you can lock it. 
can lock it in place. And uh, most importantly, safety first. <laughs> <laughs> and I uh, see so you have the, the Acer. Yeah, Acer well, yeah. Acer well. Mm. That, is, that is something well, we diff definitely want to get. You have everything on there. You mind, uh, you mind switching, switching it on fast? My new cover and the similar, as you can see, but this also be the Acer. So I display basis for your all's fun, your fuel level. All the extra sender cup on your well temperature. Your gear indicator. Gear indicator, battery indicator, indicators itself. Dumbs, brights. Hey, Tick, Kazi. Quite convenient. So I compress all's for your own place and a more sacrum. He said all's in that. And yeah, I'm yeah. going to be a man for track. So you can record your TikTok? You can, yeah, you have a lap timer for you. You can record them all, tell you, say, basis 400 meter, and then what the fun of the food is, you can cut off 400 meter, yeah. Engine wise, this is what all the guys have been waiting for because all the time they're probably forwarding through the videos, like, when are they going to get to the engine? Okay, this is a fully built 13B Series 4 turbo. Anton Brits, he did all the machine work for me. Dealt, um, balanced. Uh, yeah, then it's like super seals or super seals in them. Um, I get all this I'm about five years on the engine. I um, get my first engine by 2019 wheel climb geblaas. Um, jammer, 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 for my, jammer for me, for my ignorance. I don't have any seals. I don't have any Apex, Apex, Apex seals. seals. Ja, ja, ja. Can you feel about the rotary? I get solid corner seals and Atkins corner seals mm. um, for high boost applications. Do you have any connects for them? Because I'm sure yeah. there's quite a few yeah, yeah. rotary guys are going to be like, yes, I could. My yeah. seals, my seals. Because as a first thing I hear, whenever I inquire about rotary, it's like, mm. ah, because these seals there, like, there must be a way. And like you said, must have like super reinforced mm. seals. So there you guys have it. Um, Rainer will be able to organize you guys. They use number and everything will be down below in the description on the video. Na? Yeah, then I take uh, what is it? Six, eight, eighty precision injectors. Um, the got a, a, a street port, make a semi peripheral port. Um, so basis like the housing is up. Then it's just a T port, normal aspirated. It's not. It's not a cleaner unity. My track, I I stack. Um, get a six stuff more waste gate. It's a HX fifty five volt turbo. I think it's a fifty five mass hybrid. You have my friend Michael Wolders. Um, turbo zone in the peril. I yeah. sort my turbo so I for my eight years. I have no issues with my own. So, this is a community project. I mean, sound, but the sound of it, you can really, 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 Om die bakkie recht te krijgen voor 2020 zie ook klein. Ja, hij heeft bij je bij input op die bakkie gehad. En ja, zoals ik zei is dan als zo bij mensen wat mij gehelpt het in de zware ik het actually het begin een lijst maak van ja, ja zoals bij jou het ik je lucht en je voet krijgen. Ik heb bij jou weer dat je mij bij je raad gegeven op andere goed waar kan gaan zoeken zo. Dus het is een quick one guys, nu die voet is uit te zien. Unfortunately, Reina will not be able to personally mention everybody, but Jelle Wirt Wierle is shout out to you guys, hats off, thanks to you guys, and uh, this is a car community. You know, in South Africa, there's so many things that's going wrong, but for one thing, me and Jason were speaking uh, the other day, you know, despite all everything else that's going down the gutters of South Africa, the one thing that brings us all together, despite skin color, despite background despite what your budget is despite all of that the one thing that we have going for ourselves here in south africa is the car scene and with that being said everybody that contributed um everybody will be right now attack is like yes like it i got a knife i'm going to do my price i know me that you are i can see a car i can use you guys are in his prayers every night and i said the car right said my head is getting brick and i'm on brick i don't care now that's a good bit for you that's a prayer for you so shout out everybody that contributed um, please do leave a, whatever you contributed. You guys can leave a comment there, and uh, we can leave a link to your business or your site, to your page, whatever you did. So, uh, so we do not any help us, Makar. We promote each other. We help each other. No, the cooling though, the radiator. Mm. This is completely custom built. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got done by David Carter in, in Brackenfell Club. Cape um, Town, eh? Yeah, Cape Town. Yeah, I, I think I got in Wellington to play, so I could buy it also. Um, mm. With the money to do it, yeah. 
So ja, dit is een custom 13 wat ze toen net voor mij bekeken gemaakt van met die fans en 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 zo. Maar die twee fans was nog altijd op geweest. Ik wou niet rarig voor snij om een front mount in te poeren of te zoeken, omdat ik die die look van die bakkie zo net die voor mij die celle geweest het niet. So ja, toen ik nou maar gegaan voor die charge poeren zet op en maar kijk hoe gaan het. Dus ik zei is, ik heb die bakkie gebouwd van brood gaan koop tot trek, trek deis. Ik moet net iets doen, ik heb die bakje al 24 jaar. Heet jy die original engine wat jy... Ek het hom nog per huis. Is dit? Ja, ja. So jy stree daarvan in te gaan naar IT, jy gaan eerst een 12 waar jy naturele aspirate doen. Ek het in die begin, toe ek uit school uitgekom het, toe ek al begin vullen met hom, toe ek die Mazda 1400.000 sy engine en gearbox en vijf voetbox, hy pas precies hier in. Jy plak alles net so heel. Rechtig. Ja, ja. En ek moet net een tunnel maak, een gaat in die tunnel maak. Ja. Ach ja, vir die vir die gear liever en ek het jare so gery toe turbo ook daai engine. Ehm maar toe kom die rotary ding, maar dit kom al van skool af want ons het twee rotaries en daarna op die naar gehad. Ehm Toe het ek die 112 aangekoop, toe sê my pa nog vir my nie, jy is te los kop. Toe was ek nog jong geweest, toe is ek nog aan biek toe en toe koop ek nog een motor. Ehm so ja, toe ek eh ja Dit is my eerste motor, die motor is my 15 jaar gehou. Die 12A? Nee, dit was die 12A, het ek toe verkoop eventually, en toe het ek die 13B sub-assembly gekoop, toe het ek die 12A se kamer uitrek, het ek in my paard en manifold gebouw vir hom. 12A se distributor het onself elektronie technician gemaakt het, ek het nog al die goed. Ek het nog alles. Nice man, just like it. So al daai, toe het ek die duis, ek die 13B engine gekoop, en ek het jare gerui met hom. Ek het al my conversions van een turbo wat die standaard is, na fuel injection, toe sy baie zware petrol, sonder normal aspirator, toe sy carburetor toe, toe sy carburetor, toe sy twee IDF's toe op hom, toe blaas ek een turbo dier die twee IDF's. Hier, die, quick one, wat is die olie RTP? 15W40, straight 15W40. Ek krijg een van my vriende East Coast Lubricants, hy support my met die olie. En, 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 how true is it? I heard a lot, that's why we're so interested in this build. Is that uh, they say the fuel mixes with the oil, or you have to mix oil with the fuel? Two stroke, mix oil with your fuel. Yeah. So, what I go, I go two and a half liter, unleaded it or leaded, with a 200 mil two stroke. But I go my Castro one is a synthetic two stroke. But the engine with the inlook stadium, so I say 15W40. I think that is not the all rounder, it's for heavy diesel turbocharged, heavy duty. So. Ja, dat is baie speculaties as het kom by olies op hierdie engines. Ek weet het, hulle hou nie van die synthetische olie nie. So, kom nie met die synthetische olie na by die ding nie. Dit is wat ek net wil verweer die vijf. So, jy kan gaan vir die... Dit is my, dit is my. Amal het ons nou amal het hulle eie ding, ja. Ek het hulle 10W60 in hom gehad. Maar ja, ek gaan maar hou, ek gaan maar stiek by die 15W40. Hulle werk so ver, sorry. En, it's just a quick one before we get to starting out the engine. This year was build specifiek hier. For the yield climb. Yield climb, yeah. Yield climb. So you don't uh, participate in any other event. Not yet. Drag race. No, see, no, no, I have to just die in a car. Yeah. I have to just die. I have to just die in a trailer. Yeah. And then I have to die. Yeah. I have to die. One of my good friends, SPS yeah. Racing Devil. Yeah. Um, he has to die. 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 He has to So, ja, so ek gaan maar eers net die so eers, kyk hoe loop die bakkie en dan misschien veranderinge, maar ek, ek probeer om my oor veranderinge. Ja, lekker. Nie net spesifiek op een ding nie. Ek jy start hem op, boys.
Oh.